Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Saddle up. It's time to make compliance suck less. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. In this video, I'm going to give you one simple tool, one simple thing that is free that will make compliance suck less in your life. It's not going to make it good. It's not even going to really make it okay. Just suck a little bit less. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share out my screen and we are going to jump straight into an amazing website called Audit Scripts. Now, Audit Scripts is a website that was created by James and Kelly Tarala. And on this website, they have these free resources that you can use. Well, one of these free resources that is amazing is the Critical Security Controls. Now, the Critical Security Controls was originally created by the SANS Institute a number of years ago, where it tried to take compliance and break it down into things that actually work. Now, eventually, it was transferred over to the Center for Internet Security. Now, you may be thinking, we don't use the critical controls. I can stop watching this video. Stop, stop, stop. Don't click next. Don't keep going because I'm going to get to that here in just a moment. See, if you go to this web page and you scroll down to the bottom, they have these resources right here. We have the critical security control 8.0 assessment tool. I'm going to go ahead and download this assessment tool, and I am going to open it up, and let's take a look at what this assessment tool actually does for us. Well, I just enabled editing on some random Excel spreadsheet that I downloaded from the internet. Why are you watching my videos again? Anyway, so this is amazing, and the reason why this is incredible incredibly amazing is it makes actually doing audit and compliance much easier. Each one of the critical controls has its own tab on the bottom. Um, inventory software, inventory of hardware, you have vulnerability management, configuration management, and there's really great explanations as far as what each of the different sub controls or the control categories does and how you can implement it. Then if you've implemented that control, you can go through and select the little drop down arrow said it's implemented on systems or not. And as you've implemented it on the various systems and you've developed the policies in your organizations, you turn these little things into green, and then you're gonna see that this actually changes your implementation pie chart in the upper left-hand corner. If we go back to the dashboard, the dashboard is showing us our overall score as it relates to each individual control and as it relates to your overall maturity rating. With what I just did here, it's a maturity rating of 0.18. It also correlates it back to the MITRE attack technique matrix as well. All of this is cool. All of this is fine. Hold on to your britches because it's about to get a lot better. What do I mean by better? Check this out. If you go down even further, there's something called the master mapping. The master mapping takes the critical security controls and it cross-references it to every other audit framework on the face of the planet. So you can take it and you can cross-reference to the NIST 853. You can cross-reference it over to the Australian Top 35, NSA Top 10, GCHQ, PCI DSS 3.2, 3.1, 3.0, all for the same price of nothing. HIPAA, great. FFEIC, not a problem. COVID environment, it's in there. The IRS Pub 1075, never heard of that one. That's in there as well. Saudi AMA, it's in there. NERC SIP, all the various versions are there as well. This simplifies the cross-mapping of audit and control frameworks into just focus on the critical controls as a Rosetta Stone, and then you can cross-reference to every other framework. So thank you so much, and check out the rest of our videos. And by the way, click, click like and subscribe because trolls need to get fed. I don't know what happens uh, when you click that. Apparently, good things for me. Thank you so much. See you on the next video. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, keyboard cowboy.